Proton Pack is not a toy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is not a toy. Today I wanted to go over a prop that I have that a lot of Ghostbusters fans don't have, but could if they wanted to. It's not really super hard to find or build, and it's kind of fun once you put it together, and it's fun to show off to other people. And that would be the dancing toaster that I have here in front of me. Um, this is something that I started years ago, uh, didn't quite finish it or get it to the level that I wanted it to be at at the time when I first started and it sat in a box for a while until I finally dug it out this week and tinkered with it, put some better materials inside to help um, solidify all the stuff on the inside and uh, works pretty good now so I'm pretty happy with it. I did post a quick little YouTube shorts video of it so maybe you saw that. Um, had the Jackie Wilson music in the background playing higher and higher so that was kind of fun to finally finish it to that point and uh, just kind of wanted to show you the prop itself and then uh, let you know if you wanted to build one of your own uh, where to start what parts to gather and then your own ingenuity you can kind of put this together oh, there are some threads and uh, tutorials on gvfans.com if you just go in there and look under uh, tutorials or just search dancing toaster uh, you'll find a lot of the information that you need to know but just to show mine off here to begin with if you didn't see the other video it does work by remote so it has a sensor on the inside and I have this little remote here so I don't have to obviously push any buttons on it I could be around it and somebody could be looking at it and I could hit a button and it'll jump um, so my button has, or my fob here has four buttons, A, B, C, and D. Uh, a really doesn't do anything. It's kind of the all release back to the normal position button. And then B, C, and D all move the feet. C moves two feet at the same time. And then B and D move individual feet. Uh, when I wired it up, uh, it didn't really work out to where you could really rapid fire hit the buttons and have it go crazy like it did on the pool table in the second movie but uh, it's to the point where it's still kind of fun and you can get some attention to it. It does have a little bit of a delay in between each button that you hit so that's about as rapid fire as I can make it go. So. That was one thing I wish could be a little bit better, but um, maybe I'm not advanced enough in the electronics to get it to, to work out exactly as I needed to. So let's talk about what you need to make one of these. And I'll show um, some pictures of things up close for you here as I, I go. Uh, the first is obviously you need to buy a toaster. If you wanna buy the one that is from Ghostbusters 2, they're still out there. Toastmaster B700. That's what you're looking for. B700. There are B705s. There's B700A, B700B. Um, the ones with the, the extra letters will have little etchings here on the side. The one in the movie was just plain. It did not have any etchings on it. So just get the B700 and uh, you'll be good to go there. You can get them on eBay. If you're careful, you can get one for $50 or less. Um, some of the other ones, if you just wanted to grab the first one that you saw, you would pay in close to 100 bucks or more. Um, the good news is, is you don't need it to work because you're not using the power supply that comes with the toaster. You're gonna be taking that power cable off and replacing it uh, with something else that I'll show you here in a minute. So if it's not operable, then that's actually beneficial to you to try to get it cheaper. Um, if it is operable and it's still the cheapest price for you to get, then that's fine. Go ahead and grab it. So once you've got the toaster, then you're going to need a way for the legs to bounce here on the toaster. And instead of legs, what it actually, this one actually works on. It's not movie accurate, but this is what I've got. You see these feet, these are actually the ends of car door lock actuators and 
when you push the buttons, that's what's happening. It's like you're pushing a cord, uh, car door lock and it's engaging those. So as you saw there, the, the C and then A will bring them all back down. So four of those and I'll post a picture here of one that you can see where you can get a set of four of them on Amazon for not a whole lot of money. Um, the ones in the picture there will fit on the inside. They're similar to the ones that I got. Um, you just have to be real creative sometimes depending on what you want to be functional when you're done with the toaster. Like obviously mine, I can put my finger down here. That's as far as I'm getting. I'm not getting a piece of toast in here to make this look super accurate to where they actually shot the toast out of it. Um, you're only going to have a little bit of wiggle room and I wanted the, I've got it with a black um, gaffer's tape on there to kind of keep it dark so it does look like it's hollow all the way to the bottom, but um, it only goes down about an inch or so. Uh, it does still have the thing on the side here where you can raise and lower that. And then the, the light to dark on the side and you can move that back and forth I believe on the movie this part was covered up so to be super movie accurate you wouldn't have that on the side anyway um, so with that being the case I've got the actuators here on the insides here um, in the kind of the bread area and um, they're all set so that the bottoms line up here pretty evenly with the edge and even with each other. You do have to do a little mangling of the base of the toaster itself and that's covered up here with some more gaffer tape just because I wanted it to be as solid as possible without having a lot of the ugliness showing through from when you have to kind of take it apart and uh, do mean things to it. To get the actuators to work you have those hooked up to a uh, four channel relay. That's what this is connected to that receives the, um, the signals here from the fob. And so when I push the buttons, the relay knows which ones to go to. That's the reason I've got it set up to only three different feet is just because of the way I have it wired into the relay. I wanted to have that fourth one option where everything closes back up. And then it runs off of that relay. I have, I don't know if you can see it, the power supply is basically, um, kind of see it there, just a laptop power supply brick over here. And that's what everything hooks up to. So I can unplug it here and I could put it on a shelf if I wanted to without having that whole wire sticking anywhere. So I could display it for when I wanted it, and then just bring out the power supply for when I need it. So, again, reference some of those GB fans pages for uh, the tutorials on that kind of thing to help you be able to figure out what kind of power supply and all this, because like I said, I got this years ago, and um, it's been a while since I've looked at all the details of it. So if you want to be able to build one on your own, then check out those and that'll help you out more than I'm able to right now because I haven't gone back and done all the research on the specific part numbers and everything that you exactly you'll need. Uh, I don't know if you have to be careful the voltage or anything. I do know that I added um, I think a, a more powerful uh, voltage to it to try to get a bigger jump out of it but like I said it's been years since I first bought all the stuff I needed for this and it just sat in a box. But Happy it works now, uh, to the extent that it does. It's not super hard to do, and it's a fun little thing to show off. Um, put it on a table at a Comic Con, or impress your friends at a party, or your kids. It's a fun thing to play with. So, thought it'd be fun to show you guys that, and uh, let you know how to build one if you wanted to. 
you have any questions, like I said, check out GB Fans for the tutorials. And uh, post anything if you want in, in the comments, if it's something that I can remember. And uh, I'll be sure and answer you on that, or I might just direct you to a better option. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, that's about all I got. So thank you for watching, and see you down the line.